Can you explain to the audience everything they need to know about me and my main man? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, me and my main man. It's really just me and my man, man. We outside. That's how we stepping into the energy. I mean, stepping into the industry, not the energy. <laughs> but nah, look, this is how we coming. This is our body at work. We got every genre on there. You play, you know what I'm saying? Bah, bah, bah. We got something for you. Yeah, yeah man, we got all kind of stuff on there. Uh, for sure, you hear me? Me and my man, man. Uh, you hear me? It's us two. We in here stepping on. Uh, Took a lot of hustle and some heart just to get in. Couldn't even stop it if you could. Yeah, the energy better watch out. We outside. Now, is this project considered a mixtape or an album? It's like it's an, an album. album. Yeah, it's an album. Yeah. And why go that route for this project? Because there are some that go the mixtape route, for example. Because it's not really remixes. No, no. On us. It's, yeah, it's an album. Yeah, people have been waiting for, for real, like, for us to drop an album. So we was like, yeah, we might as well just drop an album. Because at first, album. some people was like, are they just one hit wonders? Like, do they have any other good body of work, good songs? Like, and we was like, yeah, we got to drop this boom to show that we were really real artists. Yeah, and it's really a point to prove when you look at yeah. artists like us. Because, yeah. like, the way we come across the, because uh, knowing we do music and we have a personality, we make people laugh also. Yeah. Not too much of comedians, but we just, just be ourselves. So it's like yeah. when you do so much stuff and you dress a certain way, they start thinking you were just a gimmick. Yeah. So you got to do this. You got to show them you can put out a project in our yeah. case. It's not a gimmick. Yeah. And is this your debut album? Yeah. It's definitely our debut yeah. album. We've never dropped an album. This is literally our first one. Out of all the times we've been doing, out of all this time we've been doing this. Yeah. We've been dropping singles our whole career. Our whole career so far. And because you're used to releasing singles and this being the debut album, is there any pressure on yes. the debut? It was so much pressure. We ain't oh, really yeah, want to drop was. an album just yet either. Yeah. But we was forced to. Yeah, we was forced to. Yeah. Not that we don't have creative control of our own thing. It was just, you know, you got the baby. Let's say you got a baby. If the baby come out, you got to take care of that baby. Yeah, it just so it is what it is. That's our baby. And we're going to take care of it. Now, as far as the title, a little bit more insight there. Ooh. Who coined this title, and is there any more meaning to it? The title was from the song um, we had made called yeah. Main Man, yeah. the first song on the album. Yeah. And then our manager was like, just add the me and my yeah. to it, and that's the name of the yeah. album. It come from the first record. And do you want to shout out the name of the manager at the time? Zul Carnani, he's still the manager. Shout first out First Family. family. Yeah. yeah. Now, are there any unknown facts or stories mm -hmm. in regards to this album that's never been publicly mentioned before? Could be in regards to creating it, recording it, or releasing it. Well, um... Any secrets, any Easter eggs, any hidden facts <laughs> publicly, no one knows but you two. Um, well... Nah. My voice has changed. Yeah, boys and Shane, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. That's about it. Really no hidden uh, uh, gems or Easter eggs. Uh, Voices change. Yeah. Can you shed some more light on that? Well, um... We got older. We got a little older. Because you, you kind of go through puberty more than just when you're a teenager. Yeah. So it's like our voices changed a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Our voices got a little bit better in the studio. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Now, when it comes to this body of work, some of the singles had already been released to it. Yeah, yeah for sure. Uh, how, uh, for, okay, so for a fan uh, that is hip to the singles, how many songs are of the 14 tracks are actually new, fresh cuts? Most of them. Uh, it... <laughs> you ain't trying to come. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Rumble. Uh, I like the box. I like the box. Look how his fingers started to shake. Told you. <laughs> Told you. Probably like a good six, seven. Yeah. yeah, a good six, seven. And when it comes to any of these tracks, what's either of your personal favorites? Um, I think Told You for me. Mine's is Blicky. Ah, he's still, he's I still love, like Blicky. I love Blicky. I love all our songs, but yeah. I love Blicky. And, um... Told you. I got yeah. the top three. Blicky, told, told you, you, and uh, Unlock the Box. 
Uh, I got. I think I got three too. It's uh, told you, Rumble, and saw the sign. And is it in that order? One, two, and three for each of you. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Okay, now when it comes to the number one song in each of those lists, for those in the audience that are getting to know each of you for the first time, can you share what either of these songs are about? Well, um, told you, it's about a heartbreak. We dated the same girl, some people didn't know that, and she broke both of our hearts. She was running a game on him, she was running a game on me, and we just made a song about it. Real heartbreak. She was was crying and everything. I'm sad. It's crazy. And that's a true story. Yeah, it's a true story, bro. And Blicky. Blicky. (laughs) (laughs) And Blicky. And Blicky. He read it. He read it. Um, He viral. That song is really just stick, stick, stick. What it it, it, it sound like is on a dress up. That was just an intro to a genre that we created. Trap pop. Trap pop is the genre. And can you shed some more light on that? It's... um, we are pop stars, but yeah. we're from New Orleans, and we not all the way pop. pop yeah. So we got a, a little <clears throat> slight trap in it because we still kind of gritty at the same yeah. time. We're not overly trying to be bubblegumish. Yeah. Trying to be so Disney-ish. Shout out to Disney. We love Disney. We're going to yeah. come on there. The Disney, uh, yeah. the Disney Awards. Because <laughs> we still clean, too, because we love doing pop, but yeah. it's an edginess to it. Trap pop. Yeah. Yeah. And do you recall the producer behind either of these songs? Teddy, uh, P. Teddy P. Shout out Teddy P. And, uh, That's where we record all our yeah. stuff. And I can't remember all the producers. To the, the Blicky Shout beat. out Skywalker. Skywalker, yeah. Yeah, shout out Skywalker. Skywalker. Shout out uh, Spitfire. Spitfire yeah. made that Blicky joint. That one. And what makes either of these songs your personal favorite in that top three? Uh, me? It's just um, Blicky. I just love the way... The 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 just is very very unique. It's a unique song. You never heard anything like Blicky before. Just how it sounds like. Yeah. It's real energetic and it's still kind of street a little bit. Is yeah. is it, it fits both sides, and mm-hmm. kids and adults can listen to it. So yeah. yeah. Told you it's just I like getting into my feelings sometimes a little more than usual. So I'd be like, I think that's why I told you it's just like yeah. And then it show people a different side of us, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, <clears throat> mainly online, we just be like, kind of like, not goofing around, but I mean, goofing around, it just shows people a different side, like how we could be vulnerable in our music, and that makes people want to be like, oh yeah, they got this type of side to them, so they can more gravitate to us some more. Yeah. And you also have two features on this album. Ooh. Do you have a favorite out of the two? <laughs> nah. Nah, no, indeed not. Nah. Shout out to Dino and Chopper. Chopper, yeah. Sure. Yeah. And finally, can you give the audience five reasons to listen to this album? Well, you said Fresh and Records a gimmick. You said we can put out good music. You there better you go. go listen to the album. If you don't listen to it, it's, I'm going to end it all for me. It's all right. It's I'm going to jump right. off a bridge. If you don't listen to my album, nah, this man if you don't listen to our bro. album, brother, brother, it's all right, brother. If they, if they don't listen right. to our album, we're gonna oh, jump yeah. off a bridge. Oh, no, not not we. <laughs> we're going. We, we're connected. You oh. you have to jump off a bridge with me. I, what you gonna well, do? <laughs> I, mean, like, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, no. I don't know. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Go listen to the album. No. Me and my main man. Go listen to it while you're looking at the the interview. And enjoy. And come back to the interview. And come back to the interview. Let's look at all the videos. Yeah, look like at everything. Watch the ads too. Yeah, it was your... <laughs> and any final words other than what you've already said <laughs> thus far um, well, stream the album stream the album because if you don't I'm jumping off a bridge and that means two people are gone what no I'm not in there I'm telling you hey, look, how you not in there hide your, hide your woman hide your woman I'm telling you for real yeah my main man the album out now trap pop for real everything I'm telling you Hide your woman, because y'all be trying to play them dudes. Y'all be trying to play them. I was like, man, y'all don't get no females. How are women supposed to like that? Hide your woman. I'm You'll be surprised you, like, who in our DM. For man, real. Look, man, she already waiting. She got. She already she sent already the got, address. Got. She, she waiting on the driver to so, pull up now. <laughs> she waiting on the driver to pull up now. They see that truck outside. I'm coming. I'm telling you what it is. Yeah, just chill. And the phone getting taken at the door. <laughs> 
Hell yeah. No, did it. Yeah. <laughs>